Now ain't this a surprise? <laughs> Rick was killed, justice was done. That might sound harsh, but it's how I feel. How splendid. Another Nord. Another drink, I'll be right here. Take a seat by the fire, and I'll send someone over. Good to see you again, friend. Every night, I walk around a gray quarter and let them grayskins know what I think of them. Some gray skin doesn't pick your pocket. Lucky hit. This is a favorite. That wasn't a fair swing. Yeah, here. We ought to dig a big hole, throw all them dark elves and Argonians in it, and let them tear each other to pieces. The Grey Quarter's a disgrace. Them Dark Elves live like animals. Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm sure you're busy, but another settlement needs our help. Excellent! If the settlement gets attacked, 
I'll be able to stand with the defense. Thank you. What's this about? The fortress kind of reminds me of the ramparts back home in Skingrid. This is a lovely place, but sometimes I miss the heartland. Do you always refer to people by race? Oh, never mind. You hardly look like you mean that maliciously. I'm sorry. Oh, and where are my manners? I'm Daria Meridus. My husband Phyrexis and I run this farm. Back in Skindred, yes. You may have also met our daughter, Lyra. She's apprenticed to that boss Mary Fletcher, Gareth. Ah, oh, it's embarrassing, honestly. If you didn't know already, a lot of people in Cyrodiil worship Talos privately. I've even heard people are openly worshipping Martin Septim in Bruma, just to spite the Pelmore. Back to the point, we're Talos worshippers. And, well, I may have forgotten to take off my amulet after our service. The god saw it, the local justices saw it, they wanted to kill us all. Luckily, there's not a single soldier in the Legion with any respect for the conquered. The gods let us escape. They even bought her house from us. What's this about? What's this about? The fortress kind of reminds me of the ramparts back home in Skingrid. Did you know that soul gems are edible? Well, not for Khajiit or Argonians, but men and men have no trouble digesting them. Excellent! I'll begin brewing the potion immediately. Please, you deserve to be the first to test it. I promise the effects are not harmful. The potion is complete. Please go ahead, try it. Carrying calipers. If I can find any, that is. Did you know that soul gems are edible? Where? You went out cold for a moment, then began running about the room blindly. What happened? Excellent! I have gained something fairly close to the desired effect. Please, take this. Thank you for all your help. Are you looking for any ingredients in particular? If you want, I could even sell you some recipes. Thank you, Dragonborn. Here, you deserve this.
tough fight that was. Good to see my men were ready. I need to be here, Dragonborn. Dragonborn, tis an honor. They call me Bjarne or Stoneflesh. Your friend made a good choice. My wife, my men, and myself are prepared to defend this fortress at any cost. Like to get to know your people, eh? Can't argue with that. I grew up in Markarth, and a sell sword since I was just 14. It's taken me to Cyrodiil, Morrowind, Hammerfell, High Rock, and every hold in Skyrim. I've worked for farmers, merchants, priests, counts, jarls, councillors, kings, the Alakir, and before the Civil War started, the Legion. Aye, but I couldn't handle real close combat until I was 16. Just used a bow. <laughs> My father worked for the Silverbloods, guarding Sydney Mine. His legs were crushed by a cave-in. They had to use a pickaxe to get the armor off. Now they did nothing for him. They could have easily brought in a restoration mage from Winterhold. They had that money, but they didn't. The Silver Bloods pay their debts. Hawker dung. My father worked for them for over 20 years, and they leave him crippled. I knew I had to start working, and I knew damn well it wouldn't be for those bastards. I took a job guarding a caravan to Whiterun. Got ambushed by the Forsworn three times. Luckily, there were a few older mercenaries in the group. Uh, not all of them made it, though. I'd gotten lucky, but it ran out when I got home. Local thieves took advantage of my family's situation. They. It'd be better if I did. They raped my mother, beat my crippled father in the street, took everything we had except this claymore on my back. It took me four years to track them down. I was still a freelancer at that point, but I'd become skilled. I went into their lair alone. I made sure to make two killing blows on each one of them. No one was surviving. Aye, but you need to understand something. Hardships like that are what make the best warriors. It builds character. Every sellsword who comes out of that will be notably more skilled than one who didn't. My wife, or Vanya, went through a similar hardship. You should talk to her if you haven't. I hear that. The Citadel is secure, Dragonborn. Yes, I am Orvania. My husband and I run this clan. And before you ask, yes, I'm a vampire. No, this doesn't mean I'm going to drink your blood, or anyone's blood, who isn't a bandit or a necromancer. I have no desire to prey on the innocent. I was a mortal once, too, obviously. Did Bianor put you up to this? He's always telling me to be open with our clients. It's no matter. I was born in western Morrowind, on the coast of the Vardenfell Strait. My home was destroyed in the Red Year, so my family came to Skyrim. When we reached Dunmouth Pass, we were ambushed by vampires. They killed everyone except me. I was taken captive and turned. The leader of the group, another Dunmer named Nalkath, took a liking to me. Eventually, he came under the delusion that I took a liking to him. 
He took me to a small pond in a grove in Eastmarch, expected me to bathe with him. <laughs> the moment he jumped into the water, I cast a lightning bolt after him. He died after a few seconds, and I took the opportunity to escape. To a cave near Riften, I hid there for weeks, going mad from bloodthirst. Eventually, a group of travelers saw me and reported a monster in a cave to the Jarl, who hired Bjenor to hunt me down. He found me lying on the ground, weakened and shaking from hunger. <laughs> and he laughed, then placed his hand on my stomach. He looked me in the eye and asked me why anyone would consider a starving, vampiric Dunmer in rags to be a threat. I didn't have the strength to speak. I'll never forget it. He cut open his hand with his dagger and let the blood drip into my mouth. Then he left, and came back an hour later with an unconscious bandit, laughing to himself. He was amused by the idea of having to kill me, he said. When I was finally back to normal health, he asked if I'd go with him, said there were benefits to a sellsword having a vampire as a companion. I took the offer. He was the first person to show me any remote amount of kindness after the worst year of my life. I became enamored with him. <laughs> it's not common for native Dunmer to fall for outlanders, but he wasn't a typical mercenary or a typical person. We were married by the only priest I've ever met who wasn't terrified of vampires. It's been 12 years now. Sometimes I like to just look into the forge here. Sometimes I ask myself why I still let Odrin in here. Granted, he's making me a lot wealthier. So, the Dragonborn eats after all. Who would have thought? I've been looking all over for information about the history of this place. They can't find anything. I swear, if one more of these mercenaries complains that I'm too strict with arms maintenance, I'll just let them get killed. I suppose it is. I mentioned that I heard a lot of rumors about you, Dragonborn. Personally, I'd like to hear the real story, if you have time. This should be interesting. That... that might be more insane than the tales people make up about the Dragonborn. I almost feel bad now, being indifferent to what happened with the dragons. Also, it only strikes me now that you know nothing about me. Like I said, 
I'm from Hammerfell, Tanith to be exact. I've been a mercenary for over a decade now. I spent about five years in Skyrim, seeing how everything here is trying to kill people. Plenty of work. I also spent a few years in High Rock. The clans there never seem to get enough security personnel. I don't have any kind of sad, deep story like Bianor. When I lived 17 years, I picked up a mace and started guarding caravans. Over time, I became more skilled and took more ambitious contracts. Not much else to tell. Of every question you could have asked, huh? To tell the truth, no. I've never had anyone before, in all honesty. Presumably because no one falls for the woman in full plate guarding the Count's entourage, trying to look intimidating. I have no intention to mope about it, though. If the choices I've made lead me to being lonely, so be it. I just wanted something easier for a few months, you know? I was in Hammerfell for the past two years, fighting the Thalmor. Thanks. Speaking of which, though, I should get back to work. Dragonborn, you busy? I just want to talk is all. Listen, I know you don't have anyone special. Frankly, I don't understand that. You're the Dragonborn for Talos' sake. You are what every true Nord dreams of, a great, passionate, and beautiful warrior. Then I'll wait until you feel like you know me better. Until then, my ears are open if you want to talk about anything. Ah, don't be. That's what happens at war. It's an ugly thing. Are you saying you've decided that we know each other well enough? Because to be honest, I feel like I hardly know you at all. Well, I've got plenty of time to hear it. Dragon's back to Skuldafen and then went to Sovngarde? And I thought shooting a Justicar at 300 meters was impressive. You're easily the most amazing person I've ever met. I know that sounds a little sentimental and all, but... Then you're welcome. But we could do so much more than standing around complimenting each other all day. That is by far the greatest sentence ever uttered. Or maybe I'm just that good. Or maybe you're just that good. Either way, I'm looking forward to using it again. Best gold I've spent in a long time.
dirty, dull, and chipped weapons have gotten plenty of fighters killed. Be sure to maintain your arms. 